welcome to another edition of Almost Martha. And today is Lemon Day. Yes, I have to pluck a couple more lemons for my lemon tree. So here we go. Come on. Twist, twist, twist. There we go. There's one. There's one. There's one right here. So I'm in my I'm in my dining room harvesting my lemons. And here they are. So we're going to make some chicken parmesan cutlets. We're going to top it with a beautiful salad made with a very special lemon vinaigrette made from my very special lemons. <laughs> so stay with me and we'll make it together and we'll have a, a lovely meal. All right. I started without you because I have to pound all our chicken breasts out and i put one these i had i bought one two three whole breasts one was big enough just to slice in half that'll be good one is good for mark this one we'll see how thin it gets uh as to how many people it can serve but i've started with three whole skinless boneless breasts of chicken and these you have to you have to pound so that they're going to be nice and thin I didn't buy like the thin cutlets. So I put a piece of chicken on wax paper. This is the paper that it came in from the, the butcher area. I'm just going to put it right on top. And then we pound. We want to make it nice and thin. So all the chicken's going to cook evenly. So you don't have some thick pieces and all of that. So here I go. I may give you some nice music to listen to while I pound. <laughs> And I'm using the flat part of the mallet. Uh, this this little um, with the little bumps on it is another kind of meat tenderizer. So you can use this side, which is nice and smooth, or just use the whole thing. This has a little bit of heft to it, which is great because you're going to need it for pounding. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so now I have all of my chicken. It's been pounded and I'm ready to go to the next step. So first we'll just salt and pepper the chicken. Okay, all ready to go. Next, I want to kind of I want to get my mixture together of what I'm going to dredge this in. And I think this piece of chicken I'm going to make a make a little bit smaller, but we'll we'll get to that in a second. First, I have about 3 quarters of a cup of grated parmesan cheese. I'm going to put that right in my pie plate. And I have a cup of breadcrumbs, but I I do kind of want to see what the ratio is to the cheese. I want it to be very Parmesan cheesy and not necessarily, you know, all, all breadcrumbs. So, okay. So let's see where we are. Okay. I think that's probably good. It looks like a, a good ratio. So I ended up not using a, a quarter of a cup. So, okay. Three quarters of a cup of uh, Italian breadcrumbs and three quarter cup of Parmesan. It works out half and half. It's perfect. And I think this will be plenty for our chicken. Then I thought, what, what am I going to dredge it in? Do I really want to put it in egg? I'm not sure. I kind of want that feel to it. Do I do nothing to it? I just put the chicken in and do it that way. And then I thought, well, wait a minute. I've got buttermilk in my refrigerator. 
we know buttermilk adds a bit of tanginess, right? And who doesn't love buttermilk fried chicken? So I thought, let's dredge it in some buttermilk. And then we'll dredge it in our breadcrumbs. And then we will fry it. So in here, I probably have three quarters of a cup of buttermilk, but I just, I just bought a little container. If I need more, I have more. It's always hard when you're trying to bread something because everything gets so gloopy after a while. But okay, so I'm going to, first I'm going to go to the stove. I'm going to get my skillet a little heated. And when it's heated, I'm going to take care of this breast, dredge it in the buttermilk, dredge it in the, the mixture that we made here of breadcrumbs and Parmesan, and then fry this up. We're not going to be eating for just a little while. So I'm going to, and, and these, you know, take a lot of room to cook. So I'm going to cook them one at a time and I'm going to put them on a big baking sheet. And right before we eat, I'm going to put it in the oven and then warm them up and then top it with our salad. So that's the plan anyway. So I'm going to go start my, start the skillet on the stove and then we'll dredge our first breast. I'm going to start with these pieces that I have here on this tray and I'm going to just lightly dip it in the buttermilk and then I'm going to roll it in breadcrumbs. Okay. And that, that will be ready to go. I hope this is good. <laughs> she says, <laughs> I've made this before, but I haven't tried it with the buttermilk. So this is going to be a little new, but I figure why not? It's tangy. It's got that little bit of something. It's going to make the breadcrumbs, you know, stick to the chicken. And I hear my, I hear it. I hear it going over there. Now be very careful because we, we, we all have learned that we must treat chicken like it's nuclear waste. So uh, be very careful with your hands, what you touch. Uh, after you have dredged the chicken, you put it in the breadcrumbs, before you do anything else, you should wash your hands after you've touched the chicken. I know it's kind of crazy, right? We all eat it, we all love it, but it's like nuclear waste because you can, you can die. if You don't cook it properly, all of that good stuff. I just read an article about some guy that ate a poisonous blowfish. Oh, why, why would you? Why would you? But it's a delicacy. So what do I know? I got to wash my hands. I'll be right back. Okay, my oil is ready. So I'm going to put some chicken in my pan. So we want it to get crisp on both sides. And once this is done, we're just going to cook these in batches, of course. And once this is done, then I'm just going to place it on a baking sheet and then we will heat those up when the time is right. This one is going to be for Mark. <laughs> that one's for Mark. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll check in with you later. Okay. I think I have all of my, my chicken cutlets prepared. And because we're just going to sit down and talk for a few minutes before I whip dinner together, I'm going to put these turn this off on a lovely little pan i'm going to put some aluminum foil over it and then right before we eat i'm going to pop them in the oven so they get nice and warm while i make my special salad dressing with my special lemons so i'll check in with you later all right here we are i have my salad ready to go i have zested one lemon and i put the zest right in the bowl and the next thing I'm going to do is add a little salt. I'm going to add some pepper. Maybe a, you know, a teaspoon of salt or something like that. That's about what that is. Okay. Now I am going to get my lemon juice. And a lot of times I've, I've done it with, you know, a quarter cup. I'm just going to use both my lemons because I don't want to waste a single bit of this beautiful lemon. So the juice of two lemons. Wow, 
now. Look at that. <laughs> These lemons are so great. These are Meyer lemons. So they're uh, not as acidic as normal lemon, but they will work for our purposes just fine. It's been characterized as like a cross between an orange and a lemon. Oh, there we go. Ooh, I can practically just crush that baby just by touching it. Just by touching it. Okay. All right. So that's that's that. I'm going to take this, remove it, and then I do need to strain my juice. So hold on a sec. I think I've got my little strainer here. I have my strainer. I'm going to take this off. Got the lemon seeds and lemon pulp in there. And now I'm just going to strain this right into my bowl. I just don't want any seeds going in there. And that should be good. And we have, we have zest in there, so I guess it really wouldn't matter that much if some pulp went in there, but we'll just strain that out. Okay, and now we'll just start to kind of build our dressing a little bit. I'm going to put about a teaspoon of honey right in my bowl. And I need my, I need my big whisk. I need my big whisk. So now I'm just going to whisk this a little bit. Now this is a trick I've heard people use whenever you're trying to whisk on a, on a board or, you know, a table, just put a cloth down and that way you're not constantly hearing it rock back and forth and it kind of stabilizes the bowl a little bit. So that's good. All right. So I've got my lemon juice, my lemon zest. I have a little bit of honey. I'm going to add a little bit of thyme. I could have harvested some fresh thyme over there, but okay. And I've uh, added some salt and pepper, but I'm going to add just a little more. Okay, that's good. So I, have, uh, I have quite a bit of lemon here, and that means I'll have to add quite a bit of olive oil to it. Okay. Just getting a little air in here before I add the olive oil. I always find that to be really helpful. So if you start with vinegar, aerate the vinegar a little bit before you start adding in the olive oil, you'll see I'm getting sort of some nice little air bubbles in here now. Okay. Just looking to see if I forgot anything. Now I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of olive oil in at a time. You don't want to build it all together and give it like a fork twist. No, no, no. You know, what we learned in uh, what we learned in Paris was to do this little bit at a time, little bit at a time, and making sure that you're aerating well after every addition, because then it's going to help to really emulsify the uh, the salad dressing. This won't get as thick as my balsamic dressing. That's okay. We want to make sure we do it right. Okay. I'm seeing lots of air bubbles in there. That's good. That's very good. Okay, I'm just going to pull out a spoon because we're going to sort of taste this through the process. I'm going to make sure it retains the lemony flavor, but it's got to be tempered by that olive oil a little bit. Hmm. Oh, well, my goodness. I think that's, I think that's really good. <laughs> it's really good. Maybe... Maybe one more dash of olive oil. Has to be a nice blend. And I never give like, you know, <laughs> I'm never gonna tell you like how exactly how much because I don't know how many, how many you need to feed. I don't know how big your salad is. I don't know how many servings you're gonna make. So it's all just sort of dependent on that size, right? So, and, and you're going to taste it as you go. So you can always tell if you've got the right ratio of vinegar and uh, olive oil, or in this case, lemon juice. You don't want it to be so acidic 
that when you taste it, you're like, ooh. <laughs> that's, not, that's not a good face. <laughs> not a good face. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. That is really, really good. Mm. 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 All righty then. I have my salad greens, and to that, I'm just going to, this is going to be a very simple salad because it's going to go over that beautiful chicken. So I'm just going to add a few artichoke hearts. I love artichoke hearts. I really do. And, and they really give such a wonderful flavor. We're going to be making another uh, chicken dish shortly. Uh, that depends upon artichokes and a lovely lemon butter sauce. It was a dish that I had while I was in London, and it's easy. I've made it now several times, and I just, oh, it's just wonderful, really wonderful. So, now that was very oily, so I got to get away my hands. Very oily. So I've added some artichoke hearts, and I'm going to add what I call Glamour cheese. So these are just big shards of Parmesan. If you buy a big you know, piece of Parmesan, you can cut it, use a shaver to get some nice shavings and put in there. We're going to put some on top too, just to make it glamorous. It's the glamour cheese. It's the glamour cheese. Okay. I'm also going to add something for some extra color. There's radicchio in this salad mix. That's nice and beautiful. And these are some lovely pomegranate seeds. I'm kind of addicted to these. These are gorgeous in salads. If this was a salad that was just going to live on its own, I would add, totally, I would add hazelnuts. But because we're going to be serving it over chicken, I'm going to forego the nuts. I'm going to forego the cheese because, you know, or you know, we have Parmesan. The chicken also has Parmesan, right? So there you go. That should be good enough. So... I love these tongs, love them. They're great for tossing salads. They're great for you know uh, turning a, a, a piece of meat or a vegetable over because it's got those nice silicone tips. So when you see those, those are a, those are a keeper. Okay, I'm not gonna overdress it. Let's just kind of see where we are. You want it nice and beautiful, glistening, but not you don't you don't want it to sink with all the dressing. That would be a mistake. Hmm. Oh, nice and bright, nice bright flavor. It's going to be amazing on top of that chicken. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we're good. So now I'm going to plate the chicken, put the chicken on the plate. I'm going to put the salad over it and I'll show you what it looks like right before we eat it. So amazing lemons. Mm, love them. And uh, this dressing is super easy to make. You have a little bit left, just stick it in the fridge. All you have to do is just warm it up a little bit and it'll be, uh, you'll, you're going to be able to reuse it. Cause I don't think I need any more dressing here, but boy, that's a, that's a beautiful looking salad. I must say. You always want something colorful. You eat with your eyes first, right? Okay, I'm gonna work on the chicken and then I'll be back. <laughs> Here we are. Here we are. So I know I, I, I should leave pieces of the chicken sort of peeking out there, but the salad is just too good. Too, too good. I'm gonna pile it up a little. Pile it up a little. Okay. So here goes the glamour cheese, right? We want some of this cheese right on top. Some of those big shards of Parmesan. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Then just for a little extra added color, we're going to just sprinkle a few more little pomegranate seeds here and there. It's kind of cool if they're just around the plate too, just to add a little splash of color so oh, here it is here it is so i'm gonna i'm gonna taste one because i want everybody to know how delicious this is so here we go 
<laughs> I'm not worried at all. Chicken's a little big. Hold on. Okay. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's really good. Mm. It's really good. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. Oh, that lemon in the salad dressing works so well with that chicken, you know, with the Parmesan and breadcrumbs. And oh, yeah, really, really delicious. Really delicious. And it makes a beautiful plate. It makes a beautiful plate. You can give this to your family, give this to your kids. They got to eat the salad to find the chicken. <laughs> so there you go. It's a beautiful dish and it's nice and healthy and it's, and it's really, yeah, it's really pretty easy to make as you saw. So if you want this recipe, just go to almost-martha.com and you'll find this recipe along with all of the other recipes that I've made. My dogs are in here now. They know it's almost dinner time. They've eaten. <laughs> but they want to eat again. So here we go. Hi, Mom. Hope you're good. Hope you're good. <laughs> and um, we'll see you next time. I hope you make this because it's really easy and really delicious, and it's a beautiful plate to put down in front of your family. So I hope you try it. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you next time right here on Almost Martha. That's almost-martha.com for all the recipes. See you later. <laughs> All right, here we go.